Okay, so who are we here with today? I'm Mia. Mia? Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from China. China. Okay. <laughs> do you believe in the afterlife? Afterlife. I, I would say I, I, I do believe there would be afterlife, but um, I'm not sure if I'm... But I'm still not sure where I will be going, like afterlife. Yeah, I believe there is um, afterlife. No, do, I don't they... think I don't think my family would believe there is afterlife because oh. my parents don't have religions. Oh, okay, sense, gotcha. Sort of things. Gotcha. Yeah. And are you um, open to believing that there is something after? This yeah, I, I I would I. I would rather to believe there are something because I hope like, I, yeah. I hope there will be something. Is it is it more comfortable to believe that? Do you think it's like something like a comfort thing? I, I think I think it, I think it is. I, I don't want to believe there's nothing after life after that. Mm-hmm. So I would rather like to believe there would be something after that. Yeah, okay, that awesome. makes me feel better about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, okay, awesome. I think that's good. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. So who am I here with today? I am Noah. Noah. Lindsay. Lindsay. And where are you guys from? New Jersey. Connecticut. Connecticut. I, so what are your ideas of life after life? I have no idea what comes after life. I am somewhat hopeful that it, there's an afterlife, but just unsure. Do you feel like you feel more free leaving that up in the air and not knowing for sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to think that there is like, your soul like does mm-hmm. like enter another body. That's like a reincarnation. Yeah. Got it. Gone into question a couple of times. Yeah. So still kind of figuring that out. Do your family, does your family believe in like a certain way of afterlife? Are they religious? Mm-hmm. Has that affected how you've grown up and how you see the afterlife? My father is religious, but mm-hmm. I was never like taught in that way. Any ideas of an afterlife were not really present in my upbringing. Yeah, both of my parents are like agnostic. Got so, it. yeah, nothing really. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm the same. Yeah. I'm also agnostic. Oh my gosh. I, I, yeah. I think that's it. I think that's all we have. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so who are we here with today? Uh, Arya. Arya? Arya. Am I saying it right? Arya. Arya. Nice. Yeah, okay. like from Game of Thrones. Oh, that's so yeah. far. I mean, where are you from? Um, New York. New I'm York. from Long Island. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. What is your thoughts on the afterlife? I don't, I don't really believe in any afterlife. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a very spiritual or religious person. I wouldn't say there's a particular reason why. It's Would you say that um, you were grown up around the environment that thinks the same? My mom comes from a pretty religious family. Not, you know, not ultra conservative. They're, they're Muslim. Yeah. But they're, you know, they believe and they pray and all that stuff. And my dad comes from a much more religious family, but he's an atheist. I wasn't really raised like getting a religious education or, or going to any events or anything. Later in life, I, you know, read, read the major, the major your books and all that and it, uh, it was more of like a more of like an academic perspective that I was trying to get like okay what is the difference so, yeah. do you believe this is like a set in stone belief for you that you would never believe in it I mean I could be convinced you know yeah. I, I just never I've never seen anything that convinces me I think that's good yeah, yeah, thank, you yeah. So much. thank you so much so who are we here with today uh Alex <laughs> Alex Caroline <laughs> Caroline and where are you guys from Staten Island yeah. unfortunately yeah. What is your idea of what is life after life? Do you believe in that? I'm like somewhat religious, somewhat not religious. I believe there is like an afterlife like in Catholicism where like you go to heaven or some, or like you go to hell or you could also stay like in between. Okay. The reasons as to why are sort of like different. I don't believe like you should follow specifically all like the in order to get into like the afterlife. Reincarnation. Like, reincarnation. Okay. I believe like you could also reincarnate into like a different life. To be honest to me, it's just whatever you believe. Like if you believe in Catholicism, that's going to happen to you. If you believe say in like pantheons or whatever, that's, that's just going to happen. I feel like you're conscious creating that after death if that makes sense like near death experience aren't actually dead they just had a brief encounter with him they're like oh i went to heaven it's like maybe not maybe it was just your conscience trying to comfort you the really dope answers thank you so much i really appreciate it so who are we here with today uh farshad farshad and um, where are you from i'm from new jersey new jersey yeah. do you believe in life after life i don't think i do <laughs> but i want to you know what i mean okay i wouldn't say it's influenced by my family's beliefs i mean i grew up muslim but we do believe in an afterlife, but I've traveled a lot. I've experienced okay. other cultures and other views on the afterlife. And and there's science that yeah. also factors in my yeah. belief. So there's a lot of evidence against it. Got it. <laughs> Even though I think that's the reality, part of me does like to think we go back to the earth mm. or like reincarnation or like we're like floating around or something. I want to believe that. And it okay. does give me comfort thinking that. Even yeah. though my brain is like, no. <laughs> do you believe in reincarnation as in we reincarnate? as another human or do you believe that it just goes with like all kinds of nature and everything living yeah i think more of the nature everyday living i mean the population is increasing and the forests are decreasing so i mean there you go (laughs) that explains it i think that was really yeah i think we're good to go but thank you so much okay so who are we here with today 
Mary Ann. Mary Ann, where are you from? I've lived in about 13 different states, but I've lived here the longest. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> do you believe in life after life? Not really. I'm a scientist. Uh, what kind of scientist are you? A pharmacologist. Oh, okay. But I've mostly done, I've mostly worked with drug companies um, and had another career sort of in the finance industry, but all related to biotechnology. Awesome. and drug development mm. and I it doesn't disturb me not to believe in it I just believe that life ends and we're done do you say that this is is just strictly influenced by your line of work or have you grown up around people that also don't believe in life after life I grew up in like my mother was a little religious my father was not so it wasn't ever a huge part of my life and when it was it was more of a social thing mm. than yeah anything else gotcha. and I do feel you know, I do feel that there's, I have one friend that we talk a lot who's very religious, mm, and okay. she knows that I'm not religious, but I think I've managed to convince her that I'm still a good person, <laughs> and that I try to do the right thing. I'm sure you are. <laughs> um, so I think it's been enlightening, and she doesn't try to, you know, convince me of anything, and I don't try to convince her. I just want to respect that just because I'm not, don't believe the same as you doesn't mean that, you know, I'm the devil worshiper yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh my gosh. Maybe, yeah. Really quick question. Today. Sure. Uh, I also, I'm a huge fan of Carl Sagan. Yeah. And uh, I remember he, he wrote a book called The Haunted Demon, Demon Haunted World, which is about skepticism and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he did mention like reincarnation. I was wondering, is it true that science hasn't completely invalidated reincarnation or is I don't think they have I don't know the data on that I mean I think it's an interesting thought I, I'm, just, I'm like trying to think like what happens to all my molecules at some point <laughs> or you know if I'm cremated does that make a difference mm, yeah got it because I know people that think that yeah right? that think oh it can't be reincarnated yeah, when you're or I can't go to the afterlife yeah. if I'm cremated because huh. I'm gone oh. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. All right, thanks. So who are we here with today? Dana Bo, George. Where are you from? Born in Boston. Got raised it. Raised in New York. Lived in Long Island for a while. Now live in the Bronx. Got it. Do you believe in the afterlife or life afterlife? Well, I wouldn't call it afterlife per se, but I think there's a reality beyond what we experience while we're alive. Once this ceases to function, that's pretty much where we return to. Whether you call it heaven, hell, whatever you call it, I think it's pretty much the same thing. That feels like it definitely takes away from like the... Judgment. I, go ahead, go on that. That's interesting. Not to insult anyone's particular beliefs, Judeo-Christian religions, Western religions tend to harp more on judgment. I say judgment plays a role, but not necessarily the way that most people think it does. The realities that exist beyond what we're able to see, perceive, experience, are not realities that, let's say, are, I don't want to say readily un understandable, but in our current state of mind, yeah, they're not readily understandable to us. Because we have a very materialistic kind of, I have to get everything now, the hell with what happens later kind right. of mindset. It's not balanced against living on this planet, the fact that we're all interconnected, whether we realize it or not, trying to explain what happens after your soul departs your body. It's like, you know, people have been trying to explain it for thousands of years, and even in today's society, we try to explain it in a context that people can understand, but there's some things that you can't compartmentalize down to a simple explanation. I mean, is there judgment? Is there judgment component? Yes. Is it the same as some religions that say if you don't do this, if, if, if you have any thought whatsoever that you're going to be punished for it? No. It's more the sum total of your life, what you did, what you tried to do while you're alive, how you affected people, whether you were, you know, for lack of a better word, a force for good that made people feel good while you were there. Not necessarily in terms of money or materialism, just how did people feel after they interacted with you? What did you do while you were alive? Aside from living your life, yeah. what did you do? I think in that sense, yes, there's judgment in terms of the overall value of your life and what you added or what you subtracted. That's a, that's a good way to leave it off. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That was a great answer. Thank you.